exclusive interview is Bill Browder, CEO of Hermitage Capital Management and the man who spearheaded major sanctions against the Russian government. Tomorrow morning, he will testify before Congress. Bill, welcome back to the program. Good to have you here today. Um, to be back. So you were supposed to be there today. They invoked a two-hour rule, which is very unusual. So now you're going to testify on Thursday. Um, let's get to sort of the heart of the matter here. You feel that the Magnitsky Act, which was basically sanctions against some of Vladimir Putin's sort of elite crew in, in Russia, and he very much wants them lifted and has had this campaign to do so, which uh, Natalia uh, Veselnitskaya has been part of, that there's a link also to all of that from future Fusion GPS, which is an American oppo firm, as Trace just said, started by two Wall Street Journal reporters. What is their connection to all of this in your mind? <clears throat> um, well, it's not in my mind. It's, it's, it's on, on paper. Um, basically, Natalia Veselnitskaya um, put together a huge team, uh, a very um, well-financed team of people in Washington, D.C., to help her on this project to get these Magnitsky sanctions lifted. And what we know, as a matter of fact, is that she employed a law firm called Baker Hostetler, mm -hmm. and Baker Hostetler employed Fusion GPS and Glenn Simpson um, as part of this campaign to get the Magnitsky Act lifted. And they never registered uh, with FARA, which is the entity that you have to do in terms of compliance to say, we're an American company, but we're doing some work for a foreign entity. Uh, that never happened. I just want to read something from Thor Halverson, who's a human rights advocate, uh, who is also scheduled to testify. And here's what he says about Fusion GPS. He said, it's the sort of thing they specialize in. He's talking about the dossier that was compiled on then-candidate uh, now President Donald Trump. It's, he says they mainstream false smears, allegations that are so salacious and over the top that people assume they must be true. Uh, he said they did this with Browder, meaning you, of course. They did this with two other whistleblowers, and they did it through me. So, so how did Fusion GPS get linked up with this Russian lobbyist entity? Well, I'm not sure how they got linked up, but, but what I do know is that um, when they did get linked up, um, they didn't spare any effort to try to basically run with the Putin narrative um, and try to change the entire story of the murder of my lawyer, Sergei Magnitsky. Um, what Glenn Simpson did was he pitched to journalists at major publications that Sergei Magnitsky hadn't been murdered that he died of natural causes, which is patently false. Yeah. He said that Sergei Magnitsky wasn't a whistleblower, um, that he was a criminal, when, when in fact Sergei Magnitsky was, was murdered because he uh, yeah. uncut, was, so, was so a whistleblower. They, they, they tried to dismantle your, your story, um, which I know you believe you know, is, is the truth about what happened to your friend because they didn't like these sanctions and they wanted to sort of dismantle that whole underpinning uh, to the story. In terms of the meeting that Natalia Veselnitskaya had with Donald Trump Jr. and Paul Manafort and others, um, they all came to that meeting under the pretense in the email that, that, that Veselnitskaya was going to deliver some dirt on Hillary Clinton. Knowing the players here, how do you think that part of it got cooked up? Because I know you believe that they were really just trying to get them in the room to get them on board with lifting this, these sanctions. Yeah, so, so what you have to understand about these people is that this is a, a, a effectively a Russian operation, a Russian government operation. There's a, there's a specific objective, which is at the top of Putin's list, which is to get rid of these sanctions. And they would have sat down um, for, for many weeks beforehand, and they would have been studying um, their target. In this, in this case, the target is Donald Trump Jr. They try to figure out something that they could say, some, some offer they could make, some, some enticement that they could put forward, which would get him into a room yeah. or, or potentially into, in, into a, some type of deal. And so they, they obviously looked at what they thought was the most interesting thing that they could offer, and that was what they offered because they had something big they wanted to return. So they claim that once they got in the room, you know, it was all about adoption, which we now know is linked to the Magnitsky Act and all of that. Do, does all of that ring true for you when you hear sort of what happens or their account of what happens when they got into that room? Well, you know, I, I, I so distrust anything that the Russians say that they're just a absolutely uh, pathological liars. And so um, I, 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 I can't believe what they say, um, I, but I do know what their intentions were. Their intentions were to get this piece of legislation repealed, this sanctions legislation. Mm -hmm. um, but we, can't, we absolutely do not know what, what, what they offered because you can't trust a word that they said.
Well, I know you learned that the hard way uh, through extensive business dealings in Russia and losing your friend as well. Bill Browder, uh, you will testify before this committee come Thursday. Thank you very much. Good to have you back on the show tonight, Bill. Great to be with you. Thank you.